um, it's kind of, you know, asking you to go back to probably just a couple of days of sessions, but kind of how did you approach the character of Jack um, with, uh, with Jack Fletcher's direction? Well, like we were saying before, I really don't remember a whole lot about it, except that um, it, it, was, uh, it was actually a little uh, understated from what my original expectation was of the character because of the nature of it and the violence that was going on. I really expected there to be a lot more screaming and high volume, uh, high energy type of uh, delivery. Of course, like Polo, with chainsaws. And Jack really kind of reined that in and, and kept the guy very controlled. And, and um, uh, so in, physically, it was actually a lot easier to do that character. But we had to get the intent out through a, a, a lower volume delivery, and that's a, a more difficult thing to do acting-wise. So it was, yeah. it, was, it was an interesting mix in there. And, and um, I just had to rely on uh, Jack's knowledge of the game to guide me through those areas where I was so unsure because I really had no idea what I was getting myself into when I did that. Yeah. How was your reaction to seeing video of the game? <laughs> well, I didn't see that until just a couple days ago, really, and um, it was a little shocking. <laughs> Actually, it was really shocking, visceral, and uh, really interesting style, though. I love the black and white with the, the splashes of red throughout. I mean, it, it was um, something I hadn't seen before, and... Uh, a lot more violent than I had even expected. I mean, he described it to me. I remember him describing it to me in the studio, but nothing compared to what ended up <laughs> on the screen. Really amazing, really amazing. We wouldn't want to lose you too, just because Game Control deemed you suspicious. I thought I meant something to you, and now I find out it's just about the money. I feel so dirty. Uh, just to wrap up, um, a couple final questions. But what's, you don't have to say Jack, obviously, <laughs> but what are some of your favorite roles that you've worked on? Things uh, that stick out as, like, if you were going to hand somebody your demo reel. Yeah. Like, these are the roles that you want them to listen to. <laughs> well, besides Jack, I would say uh, Spike from Cowboy Bebop, for sure. Wolverine. Um, Yaki Doodle. I did that for Harvey Birdman. That was really big fun for me, because that was a character I loved as a kid. Um... A lot of the Digimon characters. I was Gilmon in uh, one of the seasons of Digimon. It was great just because mm -hmm. it was something completely different. Um, and there's a character called uh, Lee Ron in an anime called uh, Gurren Lagann. Mm -hmm. and, and complete departure from anything else I had ever done. So this week those are my favorites. But they're all like my kids. You know, Every character I've done represents a piece of where I am at that moment in my life. And so I... To say that one is favored over the others is inaccurate, I think. And it changes from week to week, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of all the games I've worked on. I'm like, it kind of just it depends on how I'm feeling that week. Exactly. As to which one is the favorite one that I've ever worked on. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you is um, kind of to give people an insight more into, like, voice actors and, like, maybe something that upsets you or something that people don't understand about voice actors that you wish that they did understand. Mm. And that, you know, if they understood this, it would be easier to have a conversation with somebody or maybe they wouldn't get so upset over certain things. <laughs> like, is there anything that, like, God, I like, you read something on the Internet and you're like, God, I wish you understood. Uh, well, you know, the funny thing is that, that uh, good, bad, and otherwise, the, the comments that show up on the Internet, I, I love it all. And I, I, I am as amused by the, the awful comments as I am by the good ones. And the fact that people are actually tuning in and playing the games that I'm working on and watching the stuff that I do, uh, whatever their opinion is of me or the product, that they're, they're paying attention and they're the reason that I have a job. So for me, it all just boils down to gratitude. I just, I sit and I laugh and I do surf every now and then and I check it out. There's really nothing that pisses me off um, about reactions to what I do, except back in the old days when people just weren't willing to give dubbed animation a chance. That was a little annoying. And then the only other thing that I would say is that, uh, you know, people ov way overestimate um, the celebrity and power and money that voice actors have. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just a whole different kind of world. And, and I, I, the one thing I would say is I wish that um, the working voice actors would get more recognition mm -hmm. as opposed to the celebrities. Because the, when they do have sort of awards things or people that are recognized,
recognized for, for different things, it always seems to go to the on-camera celebrities. And, and there's so many of us grunts out there that are just knocking it out every day. And, yeah. and you know, we go to conventions and we do have our forum for it. But just to be recognized in, in entertainment like everybody else is would well, be kind of nice. I think yourself, uh, John DiMaggio, mm -hmm. um, Fred Tatashore yeah, is another one of my favorite yeah. voice actors. That I don't think anybody knows who these guys are. It's amazing that they don't. But but they're yeah. so, I mean, they're amazing voice actors. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that, you know, Fred does Baird in Gears of War and then turns around and does all the Locust voice. Yeah. And, nobody, and the Incredible nobody Hulk. Does. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing that people don't know that he's the Hulk. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, in a way, I guess it's good because we... Uh, maintain our anonymity, and I do like that. I like being able to walk out on the street and nobody has any idea of who I am unless I'm at a convention or something. So that's the, that's the one plus side that I would say. But but um, it would be nice to see people like Fred and John and, and uh, Tom Kenny and some of these guys actually receive awards for the incredible work that they've done for so many years. It's just shocking to me that they're not uh, given more recognition for that kind of work. But don't you think your audience would rather see me paint the sidewalks red with someone my own size? Of course, you are an artist, Jack. Go out and make us happy. Make your fans happy. I aim to please. Well, the last request is, uh, can we get a little Jack from you? Before yeah. we end up the show? Yeah, yeah. Anything in particular? Uh, I leave it up to you. Um, <laughs> oh, you gave me a line earlier. <laughs> uh, I do, I do. Personally, my favorite line in the script is, I don't help people. I was kill just going to give you that one. Okay. I don't help people. I kill them. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you very Peace. much, Steve, Peace. for uh, for showing up and thank you, taking time to sit down and talk with me. Pleasure um, meeting you. I really loved Jack, and I love lots of the work that you do. Thank you. Um, and, you know, Wolverine, Spike, the work speaks for itself. Thanks, so. man. Thanks very much. Thanks for the bloody words. I yeah. appreciate it. Dominicato. <laughs>